Hey guys, the Pro Oak here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cool looking background. This is going to be a three dimensional background, and it's going to be in motion. So, first, you guys are going to want to select Motion Project. Then, what you guys are going to want to do is just go in here and select your window size to fit so that way you guys can see the border of your window. Then, you're going to want to select Group, and then go over here and select Rectangle. And then what you guys would want to try and do is get it right on the borderline of the window and go all the way down and select the whole entire window in here and it's going to change a color. So then what you guys would want to do is go up to object and you guys can type this in or hold it. It's shift command L. That's the command to get a new light. Or you guys can just go up here to object through the new light. But then you guys want to go um, and switch it to 3D mode and you're going to get this little weird effect in here so then you're going to want to open up your inspector and once your inspector is opened up you're going to want to select this and I think I like it at like 230 or 190 yeah 190 is a little bit better I'm just going to leave it at 194 then the second one is good at I think 230 yeah it looks pretty nice at 230 and if you guys want to change the color of this, you guys just go back in here, and here's the group, but you guys want to select rectangle right here, and it's going to say fill, and you're, there's the color that it's at right now, and you guys can change the color over here, and like this one, and you guys can just change it all around, and if you guys don't like one of the options that you set it to, you can just always go back up here to new light, or light, and change the intensity levels and all that other stuff. So if you guys like this motion tutorial, go ahead and give it a like down below. Comment if you guys have any questions or any trouble doing this. And subscribe if you guys want more tutorials like this one. And also, if you guys have a recommendation, go ahead and leave it on my Facebook page. That's uh, facebook.com slash pro oakley. And I'll see you guys next video.